Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good today. So in today's video, I am going to talk about my monthly favorites. This is my honestly my favorite video to film at the end of the month. I just sit down and I look through the products that I honestly loved through the entire month and I talk about it and yeah, I share my thoughts and opinions on it. So anyway, let's get started. Also, if you are someone who's new to my channel, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like it here. I hope you like the vibe. I hope you like the content. If you end up liking the content, you can hit the subscribe button along with that notification bell as well. So let's dive in. So the first product I have here is a skincare product that I absolutely have been loving. So this is the Wish Care Invisible Gel Sunscreen. Now you guys can go ahead and look, uh, you know, to the makeup tutorial I did few few videos ago, like my everyday makeup tutorial. I use this sunscreen. I use this sunscreen as a moisturizer and as like a primer as well. And along with that, this is a sunscreen too. So the best part about this sunscreen is the consistency of this. The consistency of this is extremely lightweight it's almost has this gel like texture but it's not exactly like a gel as well it's kind of like a hybrid i would say it's very very nourishing and hydrating and that is the best thing i like about this sunscreen this does not leave any white cast no white cast at all whenever i you know after bl i blend it out after this absorbs into my skin this just looks amazing like it gives a very nice glow from within i would say it also gives protection from both UVA and UVB rays as well and it has 50 SPF in it. And I feel like, according to me, I feel like this can be used for all skin types. Even if you have oily skin, sensitive skin, dry skin, combination skin, it does not matter. Everybody can use it. And it also contains hyaluronic acid, which obviously gives hydration. It contains antioxidants as well, which actually is formulated with green tea and berries. And along with that, it also is free from any harmful chemicals. So whenever I'm using this sunscreen, I don't have to go in with the extra, extra layer of moisturizer after using my serum. I directly use this. I do not use a moisturizer at all because it is hydrating and it gives the, you know, all the goodness of a moisturizer and along with that as a, as a sunscreen as well. Now, whenever I'm using this, I don't even use my primer. Today, I directly went in with my tinted foundation after using this. I did not use a primer at all. And this sunscreen actually retails for only 550 rupees and you can get 15% off when you use my code ARNAKSHI15. So yeah, I'll leave all the links and everything in the description box down below. Now let's move into the next product. So the next product, I obviously have to talk about the LA Girl Tinted Foundation. Now I have tried so many tinted foundations, so many baby creams, but I feel like I don't know why I am just grabbing this all the time. I love it so much and this looks best when you blend it out with a brush. And I have the shade Honey here, but whenever I use this, you know, every time I use this, I feel like, man, this looks so, so natural. It does not cover a lot, I would say. It just gives a very nice sheer to light coverage, I would say. Yeah, so the formulation is also very unique where, where I, whenever I'm applying this, I don't feel like it's a foundation. More, I feel like it is like a moisturizer, you know, it is like a skincare product more than a makeup product so if that's a product that you feel like you know you can use on a day-to-day -day basis then i totally think that you guys can definitely go ahead and check it out especially if you are someone who likes like you know very no makeup makeup look for an everyday basis i think so you are really going to love it love it and i just yeah i absolutely love it and it definitely is something that you know i'm using on a day-to-day -day basis also, I am really sorry if you can hear construction noises again. My neighbors, they always, you know, they are always up to something. So I'm really sorry for that. So the next product we have here is this NY Bay. This is the truly matte liquid eyeliner and it's in the shade Popular Plum. So this is a purple liner, but it's not like a neon purple liner. You know, I love this liner so much. I have been using it on a day-to-day -day basis whenever I'm going outside. Uh, you guys know I don't do a lot of colorful looks, but whenever I try to inc incorporate colors, I incorporate it here and there. So I really love the formulation of these liners. They are really long lasting. They are long wearing and they do not budge at all. They do not smudge at all and they are really really good now this is a matte liner i would say and also i love 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 the tone of this liner the popular plum shade 
is a very muted down purple so it's not like too much purple you know so if you are someone who really wants to incorporate colorful liners into your you know routine i would say then i think you might end up liking these because the colors are not too much you know it is colorful but you can incorporate this in your day-to-day -day, everyday basis as well it's that beautiful the colors i would say uh, i definitely am you know grabbing this a shade more than the others obviously i love the others as well but this is the shade that i feel like is very unique uh, because it's not exactly a purple it's not exactly a lilac it's like very muted down purple so yeah definitely something that you guys can check it out and also this is really really inexpensive too the next product i have here is a lip balm now this lip balm is from sugar pop now i have tried it and talked about this brand you know uh, recently on my channel here you guys can go ahead and check out the whole video if you want now this uh, particular lip balm is very very amazing like it's very very unique i would say it's not exactly just a lip balm it kind of looks like a lip gloss also like you know i can just wear this alone and go outside it's that good it's very hydrating nourishing on the lip it has a scent of strawberries in it which i don't really like i'm not really a huge fan when it comes to strawberry scent but yeah it does have a you know nice uh, strawberry scent to it and the pigmentation of this lip line lip sorry lip balm is really good where it almost looks like you're applying a gloss so it's something that you can carry it in your purse and you know just use it on a day-to-day -day basis as well especially if you are a college student then i feel like you might end up liking this so the next product I have here is actually a lip gloss but this is from Colourpop. So I did a whole video on my Colourpop haul video and how you can buy Colourpop here in India without custom. So you guys can go ahead and check out that video as well for the information. But anyway this Colourpop glossy lip stain is something that I have been using and I think it is one of its kind. You know the formula is kind of unique. It brings something new to the table because it is not just a lip stain but it does leave a very nice glossy finish to it where this doesn't go away so this is not like your typical lip gloss although on camera it does look a little bit glossy it's, and shiny it's definitely not like a lip gloss and you can wear this as a blush as well the blush that you see on my face today is this one and i have seen a lot of people use lip stain as a blush but most of the time what happens is that the formula of lip stain is very different and it's not supposed to work with your foundation you know so what happens is when you use a lip stain as a blush it kind of you know just picks up the foundation from underneath and kind of looks patchy but with this one i have tried it and i really like it as a blush as well like i'm using this whenever i'm using this product i'm using this as a blush and i'm using this as a lip gloss as well like two in one situation so yeah just let me look it up let me look at my yeah so i feel like as you can see it does give a very nice glossy finish right but whenever i'm wiping this off my lips this leaves a stain so it's not just a gloss it actually leaves a stain as well which is why i love it which is why i would say this is one of the best long wearing gloss and if you can get your hands on the colourpop you know colourpop website if you can get your hands on colourpop makeup then i feel like you should definitely check this one out because of the unique formulation that this has so yeah that was it for the makeup category and skincare now let's move into my fashion favorites now first of all i have to talk about this hair clip that i'm wearing right now so wait let me just yeah. so this is the hair clip this is actually a hair barret i would say i think that's how this is named i don't know a barret yeah so this is exactly like a clip that i feel like our moms used to wear in the 90s i remember my mom wearing this sort of clip back in the day and i really looked through amazon and i found this and i feel like this is so so pretty it just it's very very pretty i would say it's a beautiful beautiful hair clip and it really looks good whenever i put it on my hair it actually is the the pattern actually here i would say like just look at the pattern here i'll show you guys wait let me just yeah just look at the pattern of this hair clip it's really good i know it's not something unique but we don't get to see this hair clip at least where i stay i don't get to see this sort of hair clip that much we mostly see hair claw clips and you know the clutch that everybody wears but this sort of hair clip i feel like is 
is coming back in fashion but i don't see it that much uh so i am so happy that i found this on amazon and yeah this was really inexpensive and i really want to collect this sort of hair clips so just let me know if you guys find any good website where you can find this sort of hair clips which is very pretty like looks very vintage as well so this is a favorite of mine so another fashion favorite, I have to talk about this bag. This is a beautiful bag that I got from Agio. Well, the, the brand is different, but I got it from Agio. And this is literally so cute. And I posted a story on my Instagram also that I couldn't open it. I was trying to open it up, but oh my God, it was really 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 hard for me to open this bag but anyway i finally could open it because a lot of you guys helped me out and helped me how to open this bag anyway this is how the inside of the bag looks like it comes with a long strap as well i love the you know i love how small and compact it is i love the design of this this is very unique as you can see right here and it matches with my top too but yeah that's uh, that keeping that aside i'm really in love with this pink shade so much i feel like this is beautiful this pink shade is honestly very pretty so yeah i really am loving this bag and i am using this bag a lot so definitely something that i feel like is a favorite of mine <laughs> So the last favorite of this month is actually these heels as you can see. Now again as I said I am in love with the pink shade, the hot neon pink shade and I feel like this is exactly a Barbie heel like a heel that Barbie would wear and I'm totally into it. So this actually also reminds me so much of I would say 2000 fashion like early 2000 fashion and this is a quite comfortable to wear like the heel as you can see even though it's like a pencil heel but it does have this uh, broader area at the back so it helps you really stay in place and keep a balance so if you are wondering you know you cannot walk in heels i feel like this sort of heels they are best because you can walk in them and not they look like pencil heel but they are not like exactly exactly pencil heel you know what i'm saying so i definitely totally love it and you can wear this and style this in so many different ways you can wear this with your dress skirts jeans and this would make any outfit pop like if you are wearing even like your you know just a simple white t-shirt your jeans and just this uh this uh heels and this bag then i feel like your outfit is complete and you're just going to you know just look beautiful this summer so yeah definitely something that i totally loved and i really am happy with this purchase so yeah that was it for today's video i hope you guys liked it i leave all the links and everything down in the description box so that you guys can go ahead and check it out and anyway thank you so much for watching i love you guys a lot and i'll see you guys in the next one bye